In today's tutorial, we're going to wash transparent enamels for optimal clarity. When enamels are manufactured, there's a good amount of glass dust that's created. It's not a big deal when you're working with opaque enamels, but when you purchase a transparent enamel and simply sift it onto silver or copper, the enamel will most likely be cloudy. So our goal in washing the enamels is to get rid of the fines, or the dust particles that are mixed in with the larger grains. Enamels generally come packaged as 80 mesh, which indicates the size of the grains. 80 mesh is the largest and generally how enamels are sold. A mesh size of 325 indicates very fine grains. The smaller the number, the larger the grain. Sifting trays can be used to grade the enamels into different mesh sizes. This works great for some techniques. However, if you'll be wet packing or sifting transparent enamels, washing the enamels works best and is less expensive than the sifting trays. The finest sifting tray from Thompson Enamels is about $35 for one tray. A whole set can be purchased from Rio Grande for about $30. So let's get started. You'll need the following supplies. A manual drip coffee maker with paper filters, a pitcher of tap water, distilled water in a pitcher or scientific wash bottle, a beaker or other container that pours easily, a set of sifters if available, a pair of scissors, containers for your cleaned enamels, extra coffee filters, a spoon, paper towels, and transparent enamels. We'll start out by measuring out a little of our transparent enamels into the beaker. If you're using enamels for a technique that requires wet packing, like cloisonne, only wash a small amount. The enamels will be stored wet, but they can degrade fairly quickly. We will be drying our enamels and storing them in airtight containers for sifting. We'll now add some tap water to the beaker. I prefer to use a generous amount of water to wash the enamels, and pouring out of a pitcher agitates the water and the enamel. Take the tap water, pour it into the beaker, and swirl vigorously. You'll see that in the first wash, the water is very cloudy. These are the fines. The larger grains, the grains that we want to keep, will settle to the bottom. I let the enamel settle for about 10 to 15 seconds, then pour off the cloudy water into the coffee filter. The coffee filter prevents enamel from going down the drain and also lets you capture the fines for other techniques like shading or scraffito. We're going to be repeating this process until the water is clear. Some sources say to wash enamels up to 10 or 12 times, and I generally wash the enamel at least 10 times, then follow with two to three more distilled water rinses. Once the enamel is washed and the water is clear, rinse with distilled water. The minerals in tap water may interfere with the enamel and cause unwanted results. A couple of rinses with distilled water will rinse away contaminants. If you're wet packing the enamel, stop here. Simply transfer the enamels to an airtight jar and they're ready to use. If you're drying the enamels for sifting, we're almost done. Next, lay out two to three paper towels on the counter. Cut a coffee filter in half and lay half of the filter on the paper towels. We're going to add some distilled water to the enamel, swirl vigorously and pour out onto the filter. You wouldn't want to pour directly onto the paper towel as the enamel will get caught in the pockets or go through. If there's a little enamel left in the beaker, add more distilled water, not tap water. Swirl and pour out onto the filter. This will create a nice thin layer of enamel for drying. Let the water wick away for a few minutes, then remove the coffee filter and set aside to dry. If available, a food dehydrator works great for drying enamels. In dry climates like Denver, the enamels might dry on the counter within a few hours. If you're in Houston with high humidity, it will most likely take longer. Take a spoon and redistribute the grains occasionally while drying. Be sure to mark the container, top and bottom, with the words washed and the color number and name. When the enamels are dry, carefully transfer them to an airtight container. The enamels are now ready to sift onto your project. 